Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In this video, I'm creating a tip, but one that I intend to be short and sweet. Think of it as a shim, much like you'd use to adjust the spacing of components for a better fit. But instead, it's intended to adjust your knowledge to be a little more efficient. For this tip, I'm going to show the different settings for dimension display. They're found in the status bar when a sketch is active, and there's five to choose from. The first is to show the dimension value, which is the default that Inventor will show as you start it without making any changes, so I'm pretty sure you've seen this one before. The second option shows the name of the dimension. These names could be those generated by Inventor when the dimension is placed, or the names that you, as a user, have entered to create more meaningful dimension names. The third choice displays the expression. Combining the two previous options, it shows the dimension name and its value. It also shows all decimals for a dimension while truncating any trailing zeros. If a dimension is linked together to create a mathematical expression, the expression is what's displayed. If you've applied tolerances to your model dimensions, the fourth option, Show Tolerances, will display them on screen. If a dimension is set to be evaluated at a value other than its nominal value, for example, maximum material condition, then the value will be shown with an underline. And finally, the precise value setting truncates trailing zeros and shows all decimals. If a tolerance is set to be evaluated at a value other than its nominal value, then the actual measurement of the dimension will be shown. And that's it. I hope this tip was short, sweet, and most of all, informative. That's it for this video and have a great day.